Hey gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net. Doing an unboxing here, the MVSX Neo Geo. This right here is this home arcade. Did a previous video about this. It includes a whole bunch of classic Neo Geo games from all kinds of different genres. Bit of Fury games, King of Fighters game, Metal Slug games. <laughs> but my personal favorite right now seems to be Shock Troopers. Although I understand a lot of you guys may like the uh, Metal Slugs. And Magician Ward is in here too. That's not what you guys are here to see. You guys want to see me unbox this. So what do you say we crack it open? Get it taped up right here. Coming to you guys with my 4K HDR screens right now. That's what we're going to be filming you guys in. Please uh, post a comment below what you feel about with the audio and the video. So let's uh, cut this tape. And a lot of people have been talking about these new home arcades, and there have been a lot of boards recently for home arcade enthusiasts to get together to talk about their stuff. And as you can actually see here, I've actually got some home arcades ready to go as well. But I've been collecting most of this stuff is from Arcade 1UP. This is not made by Arcade 1UP. But the difference between this unit and the Arcade 1UP units is that this has pretty much come pre-assembled, particularly the bar top portion of it. There is a, a detachable shelf, but this is designed to run entirely on its own. So we're going to take a closer look at this one. And I'm seeing in here, you got a power supply. We can see the unit itself. And we're going to basically be pulling this thing out, or at least try to. Actually, it might be easier to just simply pull this thing back and try to slide it out. And hopefully I can do that without damaging the screen. Oh, there it goes. supply right here which we will remove. And the nice thing about these home arcades are because they use things like uh, LCDs and stuff instead of big bulky CRT screens they only require about oh 36 30 I think this thing uses either 37 or 38 watts of power. So this is the power supply right here. Our plug. Someone else here. Silicon desiccant, we don't need to worry about that. Here's our manual. for firmware updates. We'll take a closer look on it on the back. By the way, I absolutely love this uh, I absolutely love this uh, marquee in the front. It's, uh, it's really beautiful. is now free of the soft start. Huh? I'm going to find the tape, holding it together. But you can basically see here, the whole unit is together in one piece. King of Fighters 98, looks like a Samurai Showdown 2. Can't tell what those other two, I think that's Metal Slug 3. Re looks like Real Bout for that one. Oh, my God. 
flip it open. Feels like a kid at Christmas. When I was a kid, I remember seeing the Neo Geos at the various arcade systems and stuff like that, basically. But I frequent as a kid. But I never really played too many of them. But I do distinctly remember playing a Neo Geo. My, high, my senior year of high school, there was this uh, day camp that we went to as a senior project. And um, everything there was free. Everything there was provided to us. And they had things like a, a camp, uh, you know, like a, it was a camp. So it was like um, they had a lodge and they had, um, uh, they had a lake and they had a pool and stuff like that. And um, I wasn't super duper interested in going swimming or anything like that. But they had an arcade with some pretty classic 90s, uh, early 90s games. And there was a Neo Geo there. And they were all set to free play. So it would be a cool way to actually spend the evening before we left to actually play. So these are, as Nathan, uh, as uh, Keith Apicary would describe, four bright buttons and two joysticks. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Cool red cap and it names that sticks. Let's take a closer look. I know there were a lot of people that were complaining about this right here. This is a fake coin drawer. Um, it is just for show. It's not real. And the actual the, the shelf that it comes with is actually a full-size one that's actually much better. But um, we're, uh, but I'm going to keep, I kind of think it's okay. It would have been cool if they put the power switches there. Okay. More thing. Right down here, this is the back of the unit. I'm not going to show you the serial number, but I want you to see the information in the back. Right there is the power. That is the only way that you can USB uh, format. Um, this can actually be updated, but it doesn't have Wi-Fi antenna in here. And there's your power switch. But uh, yeah, this is the Neo Geo. It actually comes with preloaded with, I think, uh, 50 games total, which is a little bit le uh, over one third of the total Neo Geo library i think the total neo geo library including neo geo cd games is about 143 games total man that's beautiful and if you must know my intention to use it is going to be with this shelf and this stool that's it's going to be its destiny